Keeley Radio. This is Tom Casey. I'm here with none other than the Stacy Phelps. Good evening, sir. Hello, Thomas. Jumping it, it's going to be Ryder Kirsch, a 6'6 senior, against what's listed as a 6'7 senior. Do you think he's 6'7? Well, can't catch his enemy. The tip will come down to St. Thomas Moore. They passed it, we got fumbled a little bit with the ball was Connor Hollenbeck. Red Cloud coming out in man to man. Pull up jumper on the baseline, in, out, and rattles. Was that Hollenbeck? No, Caden Casey. Casey, that's what I wonder. So Casey will get the two. Nepotism, Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so make it 2-0. St. Thomas Moore goes up outside the three-pointer from the corner. Big horn for three. Pass from Carlo. Ryan Carlo gets the assist. Big horn got the three. And Red Cloud will take a 3-2 lead. You know, Ryan Carlo had his best game of the year Friday night against St. Thomas Moore. Driving all the way down the middle. Was that uh, Ryder yep. Kirsch? Yep. So make it 4-3. to three. St. Thomas Moore by one. They work it outside the big horn to Rayma. Rayma running the perimeter, gives it to Cardo, kicks it in the corner. Wide open look for three. That's Donovan comes up short. And out of bounds, they said it went off of St. Thomas Moore. Against who? It said it, not a foul, it went off of St. No, Thomas Moore. Ryan had his best game against who? St. Francis. Oh, okay. He had 19 points, he had uh, 10 rebounds, he had five assists. He just, it was his best game of the year. Oh, that's up, cool. Up on top to Donovan. Donovan drives from the corner. This time it's Rayma for three, won't go. Underneath, Kirsch. is that Kirsch? Yeah. Yep. Kirsch for the rebound, it's four, three. St. Thomas Moore by one. Caden Casey goes inside. Kirsch, thought he might have traveled a little bit. Wojcik. That's Drive. the guy you were but talking about, Wojcik, yeah. who hit 11 threes in a row in practice. Yeah, he's followed by Carlo. Carlo will pick up his first foul. They're going to kick the ball back door, up off the glass, won't go. Catches enemy will come down with a rebound. So it's still 4-3. St. Thomas four by one. Donovan drives all the way to the hoop, draws a foul. Is that Kirsch? Yeah, it is. I have trouble seeing these numbers. There's yeah, not all. enough contrast. Well, not only that, they all look the same, too. The numbers? Oh, the uniforms on the players. I know you're gonna tell me all white teachers look alike. I didn't say it. That's what you implied. Well, don't they lie. All, they, they all are cut from a similar jib. <laughs> no, I mean they're Bo Donovan at the. I know what you're saying. Bo Donovan at the line hits the first, and we are tied at four all. <laughs> and he hits both free throws, and they take the lead. Five four. four. Red Cloud up. Oh, ball gets tipped up the floor to Kirsch. Left side, they work it down in the corner. Driving the baseline, pull up jumper, won't go. Kirsch. Underneath though, Kirsch with the rebound, and then Bighorn will grab the rebound for Red Cloud. Chance to add to their lead. It's 5-4, 5.45 to go here in the first quarter. Rayma with the ball on top. Directs traffic, spins, kicks the ball to Carlo. Carlo got impatient, he drives. Oh, goes he across the lane. That to catch his enemy, couldn't get it to go. Wojcik with the rebound. Underneath. Oh, Ryder Kirsch to Hollenbeck for two. Kirsch with a nice assist. Hollenbeck, does that count as a two-handed jam or it, what? It could. It could. I hear you. He got up there quick and it was reversed, you know, on this side of the basket. But basket counts. And, free and the free throw, who is the foul on? Um, catch his enemy. So Joaquin will pick up his first foul. And with that, it's a 7-5 lead now by St. Thomas Moore. Carlo on top, goes to his left. Good body up on defense. 
Bighorn just about lost it. Raymond yeah. drives, kicks it in the corner. Open look for Carlo for three, won't go. Hits the oh. iron, grabbing the rebound. That's Raymond with the rebound. Yeah. Good, good offensive rebound. He's 5'9", he's a small guy in tall timber mm -hmm. against St. Thomas More. Outside another three-pointer, that's not gonna go. Another offensive rebound by Bighorn, and he gets it up and in, we are tied. Bighorn with the offensive rebound, we are tied at seven all. 4.33 to go, first quarter. They work it up Boy. on top. They get the ball to Gilton. This floor is just slippery. They, they cleaned it before the game. Yeah. They get it in, Kirsch. partially blocked, and yep, catches, catches enemy. enemy. Who, who got the, was it? It who, was, um, was catches it? enemy at the block. Okay. That's They're gonna it. call an offensive foul on Donovan. Bo Donovan trying to drive and will pick up his first foul via turnover. We're tied at seven. We have a timeout on the, no, no, substitution. Yeah, substitution, yeah. We have Jay Sean Morissette, Josiah Codier, Jaden Longsoldier, and Jet Knight on the floor for Red Cloud. Inbounds to Hollenbeck. Working the ball up the floor. Kirsch in the corner now. From the corner, a three-pointer rattling it down. Yeah. That's Caden Casey for three. Give Kirsch the assist. And now make it 10 to seven. A three-point lead. Codier, long soldier, up on top to Jet Knight. Right side now. Gets the ball to Donovan. Donovan drives in the lane. Goes all the way to the glass. Sinks the basket. They're gonna wave the basket off and call a floor, a foul on the floor. The foul will go against Caden Casey. He'll pick up his first foul. Second team foul on St. Thomas Moore. Into Morissette, quickly to Jet Knight. Jet Knight to Donovan, catch and shoot for three. Give Jet Knight the assist. Donovan will hit the three. And we are tied at 10. The Red Cloud staying close. Wojcik with the ball out on the right, kicks it back outside, 3.20 to go, first quarter, back door from the corner, a three, open look for three, and that is... Uh, uh, Casey? Caden Casey hit it, yeah, he hits yeah. a three. Make it 13 to 10 now, three point uh, lead. Got his own rebound for... Um, is that Jaden Long told you? Yep. He got his own rebound. Knocked out of bounds off of St. Thomas Moore. No, off Red Cloud. Oh, really? Okay. So it's St. Thomas Moore ball quickly coming back in is um, Rayma and uh, Bighorn come back into the ball game. Up the floor, they get it on the wing. We are 13 to 10. Cavaliers up. Wojcik, they're going to call a foul on Jet Knight. Yeah. He was a little bit close. Yeah. Physical, trying to yeah. slow the Cavalier down and Knight will pick up his first foul. That'll be the fourth team foul on Red Cloud. 2.53 to go in the first quarter. 13-10. Cavaliers up by three over the Crusaders. Wojcik on the wing on the right. Bighorn all over him. Wojcik drives, kicks in the corner. Kane Casey, another open look from three. He knocks that down. That's his third three. Wojcik, yeah. Ryan Wojcik with the assist. And now make it 16-10. Oh, Rayma for three. Rayma gets his three and make it 16 to 13. Quickly up the floor to Hollenbeck. Drives in the paint. Big horn. Oh. Or no. Foul on Big Horn. That'll be his first foul. No shot. 15 foul. We're two away from a bonus. A 16 13, a three point game as Caden Casey has three threes from the quarter. He loves that spot. They get it in, catches enemy covering. Out to Wojcik. He drives the baseline. Holland back from the corner for three. Rattles in and out, won't go. Catches enemy. Will pull down the rebound for Red Cloud. Quickly down the floor. Bighorn tried to stutter step. Nobody took it. They go to Rayma. 
down low. He brings it back outside, then drives in, kicks it across the lane, catches him, he steps back, puts it up, draws a foul. Catches him here. We'll not, go to the line to shoot too. I mean, that was a good recognition. He was going to pass, and then notice he had the mismatch and went up and was able to draw the foul. So catches him, he'll go to the line. Wojcik will pick up his first foul. That ends up being the third team foul on St. Thomas Moore. A chance for Red Cloud to pull within one as catches enemy hits the first one. Make it 16 to 14. Michael Gilton is checking in for St. Thomas Moore, a 5'10 senior. He started tonight. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. Oh. Catches enemy, misses the second one. Holland back rebound. They work it in the corner, in the lane, cut the lane, got too far underneath the basket, and then up off the glass, Hollenbeck for two. Who passed that to him, did you see? Um, Ryder Kirsch, stolen by Hollenbeck. <laughs> Hollenbeck with a steal, quickly up, no good, and fouled on the shot. Raymond will get the foul, and it'll put Kirsch at the line. That's kind of a mismatch. Yeah. Raymond at 5'9", Kirsch at 6'6". Six, six. You know, the, after Hollenbeck got that, you know, he kind of stepped in the passing lane, got a steal. I mean, Kirsch was quick out of the, off of the bottom there and got out in front of all the Red Club players to you know, get back for that fast break. Make it 18-14 now. 19-14 as Kirsch hits both free throws. 19-14. Rama out on the left. We'll bring it all the way around to the right. Bounce pass into Donovan. Over and under. Puts a shot up. Can't get a, couldn't get it. Didn't get the foul. That was Kirsch with the rebound. Boy. Is that uh, Casey, Casey again? Casey again? Three. That's his fourth three here in the first quarter. Make it 22-14. to 14. Four threes from Caden Casey. He's got a hot hand. Carlo drives in the corner to Donovan for three. Won't go. Underneath, grabbing the rebound is Kirsch again. Ryder Kirsch. From the corner, Gilton for three. Won't go. He gets his, hustles and gets his own rebound. Down inside, step back. And that's Gilton for two. I didn't see who passed it to him. Got uh, Hollenbeck. And now make it 24 to 14. A 10 point lead, largest lead of the game. Up until this last minute and a half, Red Cloud had been with, but within two or three. Carlo. Ryan Carlo drove the baseline for two. And make it 24 to 16. Back up on top. Hollenbeck ready in the corner for a three. And brings it back out into the, to the free throw line. Puts it up at the buzzer. And we have completed the first quarter. I don't know why he pulled it back out. He was sitting out here to shoot. Um, we've completed the first quarter, and Caden Casey has, with four threes, has set the tone as St. Thomas Moore has the lead. They're up 24 to 16 over Red Cloud. You're listening to coverage of Boys High School Ball, and you're watching on KOLC TV. Well, you know, like you said, it was back and forth there. Um, Red Cloud kind of sticking with St. Thomas Moore. They'd go up by two or three. Red Cloud would come back, and then that last 90 seconds, St. Thomas Moore um, seemed to kind of, um, you know, not allow Red Cloud to get any offensive rebounds and kind of attack the basket. So I think if you're Red Cloud, they're getting their shots down there, but they need to focus on finishing those shots and not expect to get fouled and go to the line because, you know, one thing St. Thomas More, they do a good job of is, is kind of straight up defense and moving their feet and moving their... They have really you know, good fundamentals. They do, and so, you you know, you're not going to get fouled like you would normally against another team, so you got to focus on finishing the shot. Into the game is Grant Huber, a um, six-foot senior. He checks into the game here to start the second quarter for St. Thomas Moore. Donovan catches enemy. Rayma hands the ball off to Bighorn. 
And Jayshon Morissette starts the game for Red Cloud to start in the second quarter. Morissette with the ball, just a sophomore. Goes to Bighorn. Bighorn works. He's going to step back. Morissette drives. And then he'll catch it. He'll, yeah. he'll draw a foul. Holland back. So like, Morissette will go to the line to shoot two. That'll be the fourth team foul on St. Thomas Moore. Connor Hollenbeck will pick up his first foul. You know, I, I think it's a combination of the defense as well, but, you know, Red Cloud um, has kind of a lot to, I mean, they, they just seem a little tentative on some of their shots. You know, I think they need to just settle in and play like they normally do. And this is their home floor. It is. More sure. set, misses the first, but comes back and hits the second. Make it 24-17 now. A seven-point lead for St. Thomas Moore. They're 13-0, ranked number one in the state. Their last win was against AA Sioux Falls O'Gorman. They tried to go down inside the cage in case he tipped away. Donovan will come away with a steal. Good defense by Red Club. Donovan working the baseline, takes it down, floats nice. it up. There you go, just like that. Nice move by Donovan down the baseline and make it 24 to 19. Five point game. They work it on the wing on the left, get the ball. Driving inside, ball gets tipped. Catches enemy, they come away with it. Down to Raymond, reverse layup for two. So Rayma gets his second basket, a deuce and a tray. Well, that's the value of their transition offense and not letting St. Thomas Moore set up their team defense. So it's 24-21 now, a three-point game. McGee <laughs> pacing the sidelines, yeah, not yeah. happy with that call. Crowd wanted a push off. That's going to be the seventh team foul and a bonus for St. Thomas Moore. The foul on Bighorn, he'll oh. pick up his second foul. Well, that's not good. They need him on the floor. At the line is Hollenbeck, and he buries the first one. He's got six. Caden Casey with a hot hand. Four threes and a deuce in that first quarter. 14 points. Misses the second one. Catches and he'll come down with a rebound. So it's 25-21 now. Four-point lead for St. Thomas Moore. Outside shot won't go. Hustling to get the rebound is Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck up the floor to Caden Casey for two. Mm. 27-21, St. Thomas Moore up. Six minutes to go in the second. Jay Sean Morissette down the baseline. There'll be a blocking. No, they're called jump ball. Huh. I don't get that call. Ryan Carlo checks in. He's going to come in for more set. The arrow, possession arrow, will go to St. Thomas Moore. They got a six point lead, 27 21. Not quite two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Bringing the ball up is Ryder first. First on top, works the ball to the right to Wojciech. Carlo out, covering. Wojciech put on an exhibition and practice warm up. They get it into Kirsch. Nice pass into Kirsch. That was Grant Huber with the assist. Kirsch the two, he's got six now. And they get 29 to 21. You call a foul on Gilton. Go ahead and throw a pick. Oh no. Word Wojcik. His second foul. How do you say his name? Ryan Wojcik. Wojcik. So only the fifth team on St. Thomas. Fifth foul on fifth team foul on St. Thomas Moore. No shots. Ball on the side. It'll be Red Cloud ball. Raymond will take it out for the Crusaders. 29-21, eight point lead. Donovan working it to the left, drives in, puts his shot up. They're gonna call him for charge. He was bouncing around like a pinball in there. And they're gonna call him for a second foul, yeah. a charging foul. 
against Red Cloud. Eighth team foul, no shots, it's a player control foul. Inbounds for Kirsch, and Kirsch will bring it up. Catches enemy, waits for him. On the wing, they go to Caden Casey, who has 16 points in the game already. They work it down to Kirsch on the baseline, working on catches enemy, turn spins off the glass. He wow. kind of makes that look easy, Stolen doesn't Stolen by Gilton on the inbounds. Ryder Kirsch for two. So Gilton gets the steal and the assist. Kirsch, another basket with that turnover. And it's a timeout, a full timeout on the floor. Now it is St. Thomas Moore up 33 to 21, a 12 point lead. You know, it was a four point game, what, a minute ago? Minute and a half ago? Yeah, it was a three point, 24 21. Actually, yeah, yeah, they've scored and they've been on a 9-0 run here. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's kind of what happened in that first quarter too. You know, Red Cloud was going back and forth, and all of a sudden, you know, St. Thomas More just kind of tightened up and um, took off and got jumped up by about 10. They went on an 8-0 run that time. And then Red Cloud came flying back, or fighting back, and um, you know got within three. And then here again in the last 90 seconds or minute, you know St. Thomas More has just kind of put the tightened up the the screws there. And and I think that's what you know they take advantages of small lapses. You know, all of a sudden you know Red Cloud is kind of frustrated because of a couple of missteps and turnovers and then they just kind of grab the inbounds pass and catch another layup, you know, just to add to it. Donovan pushes the ball up over to Rayma. Rayma hands off to Bighorn. Bighorn to the elbow. Kicks the ball out to Donovan. Donovan working on Gilton. Gets it down to catch his enemy. Back outside the Cardo to Bighorn. Bighorn catches enemy on the right in the corner to Cardo. Carlo works the baseline, drives off the glass. Nice drive by the senior, yeah. Ryan Carlo, his second basket. Make it 33 to 23. 10 point lead. 4.24 to go, first half. Work at the left, a nice cut. I mean, that's what you like, yeah. Kate Casey. Great movement without the ball. He moved down the baseline, got open, yeah. and they hit him with a pass. And, well, that, and he drew a foul. Well, and I think the thing is that, you know, it kind of, they set a pick on top for Hollenbeck like he was going to drive. And while people were adjusting to that pick, Casey just cut down the side and had a nice cut, open cut to the basket. They get 36 to 23. 13 point lead. Carlos spinning, kicks it back outside. They're in a lot of 2 3 zone. Get no ball to Donovan. Donovan. In the corner, they go. You know, I think they should post either Bighorn, Donovan. I think they got some mismatches there. Pull Carlo and catch his enemy away from the basket to get Kirsch and Hollenbeck 6'6 six, six and 6'5 six, away and allow um, Donovan and Bighorn size to kind of use that to post up. Gilton will pick up this first foul. 16 foul, no shots yet. Donovan will take it out. We have some subs coming in. Jay Sean Morissette in there. Jet Knight and Josiah Cody are on the floor right now for Red Cloud. Carlo drives, kicks it outside the Knight. Donovan drives in the paint, back to Cody. Cody lets fly a three, off the mark, won't go. Underneath, grabbing the rebound. Quickly out. That was Kirsch on the boards again. He's got five rebounds. Oh, Donovan's going to pick up a foul. That's going to be Bo's third foul. Yeah. Ninth team foul. At the line shooting, burying the first one. Is that Grant Huber? Yeah. I couldn't see his number. <laughs> 
37-23, 14 point lead. Second one rattles in. Caden Casey has 19 first half points. Raymond on the wing, gets it across to Codier. Right back to Jet Knight on the right. Cardo drives in, pull up jumper. About a 12 footer, Cardo for two. He's got six now. And they get 36 to 25, an 11 point lead. Take that back. It's 38 to yeah. 25. I wasn't going to correct you, but I was wondering. Down inside to Kirsch. Ball gets tipped. Coming away with it is going to be Ryan Cardo will get the steal. And St. Thomas Moore, that's only their second turnover. Cardo drives. They're going to call him for the charge. Yeah. Boy, it seemed like he was kind of sliding along with him, huh? Two forty-seven to go in the first half. Thirty-eight twenty-five. The crowd not happy with that call. Well, I think the confusion is, is it was an open drive and he was moving, you know. In uh, to Grant Huber. Quickly over to Charlie Larson. Underneath. Morset went to the block. And they're gonna say he fouled Grant Huber, and Huber will go to line to shoot two. Morissette will pick up his, I think this, is that his second foul? Yeah. Not, I think the fans weren't happy about that, Thomas. So Huber will shoot two. He misses the first one. Back to shoot again. So he's hit three out of four from the line. Make it 39-25. 14 point lead. Carlo with the ball on top. Drives off um, a little hook shot, mini hook shot. Couldn't get it to fall, but uh, draws a foul this time. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Larson. New player on the floor gets the foul. 6'3 junior, Charlie Larson. Oh, yeah. Carlo at the line, hits the first free throw. Bighorn checked in the game for Jet Knight. You know, I noticed, is Red Cloud pressing anymore? Or they haven't been able to get it on? They've, because St. Thomas Moore has pushed the ball out, or? I, I haven't noticed. Carlo will hit both. 39-27. Oh, here comes their press now. Gilton back in the floor for the Cavaliers. Inbounds. Up the floor is Kurt. Spins in the lane, drives. He's so big and he, he moves his body well, doesn't he? Yeah, he's fluid. So make it 41-27. <clears throat> Rayma back out. And he and Big Horn miscommunicated, so it goes sailing by him, and that's a turnover on Red Club. 41-27, Tom. Yep. Don't, can't, can't do that. Big Horn has th two fouls. Howl him back. <clears throat> There's Rayma gets the steal. Finally gets control of the ball. Up. He hits the underside of the rim, but draws a foul. And Rayma will go to the line to shoot two. Uh, he's not showing any fear. He's, he's nope, in there scrapping. He's right at it. And I think that's what you got to do. Hollenbeck picked up his second foul. Forty-one twenty-seven, one fifty-two to go first half. At the line is Rayma, and Rayma will hit the first one. Rayma with six points here in the first half. They get 41-28. 
for Red Cloud, it'd be nice to get it down to single digits yeah. by the halftime. Raymond rattles the second one in. Make it 41-29. Bring the ball up. There and you go. Raymond tipped it away, but he didn't tip it in the right direction, so somebody could get it yeah. before it went out of bounds. So it'll be St. Thomas more ball. More set comes out. We have Bighorn catches any Donovan, Rayma, and who am I missing? Is it Carla? Cody. Grant Hubert under, under Kirsch, you know, he yeah. gets the pass to Kirsch, and Kirsch just makes it look so easy. Yeah, he just had catches enemy sealed under the basket. And then they looked away and threw the pass away down there. Can't have those turnovers, man. No. Not going to stay close. 43-29, 14 point lead. Quickly up the floor. They get it on the left to Huber, then back outside. Gilton bounce pass. Outside tip by Rayma, Rayma with another steal. Rayma taking it down. Euro step puts it up for two. The freshman said, I'm going after this baby. Yeah. 43 to 31. Oh, Rayma. Hove out there for the steal. First spins, kicks it oh, a back door wide open, and what that's Charlie pass. Larson for two. First with a spin instead of shooting it, a nice pass across the lane for an easy two. 45 31, less than a minute to go. Driving, Donovan on the drive gets it to go. Little floater. Donovan, and now 45 33. On the wing, back outside, 35 seconds to go in the half. They drive, they kick it in the corner. In the curse on the baseline, catches enemy right there. Curse back outside on top for three, won't go underneath though. Curse came in. That's on Bo, that's gonna be. Yeah. Is it on Bo? Yeah. His third foul. Ten team fouls, automatic two shots. Kirsch will go to the line to shoot two. You know, he's not your average big man, is he? No. He plays a lot more of a big man like that. Moores does from Yankton, you know. Kind of a big presence who posts, but more of like a small forward in a center's body. Short off the rim on the second one. Carlo will come down with the rebound. And Rayma will bring it up. 46-33, a 13-point lead for St. Thomas. Rayma drives, kicks it out in the corner, back outside Carlo for three. There and he nails it. Jet Knight with the assist. Carlo got the three. Quickly on the break, and Charlie Larson for two. On the break, I didn't see who passed it to him. Oh, uh, Ryder Kirsch. Kirsch, man. He just got behind him and Kirsch found him. We've completed the first two quarters and at the end of the half, it is the St. Thomas Moore Cavaliers up 48 to 36, a 12 point lead over Red Cloud. At the half, you're listening to coverage of boys high school ball right here on Keeley FM Radio, the voice of this great luck alternation. So, I mean, I think that's one of the... Wojciech, Gilton, and Caden Casey, who had four threes in the first quarter, 19 points in the first half. Rayma to Carlo, starting the second half. Carlo drives, double pump, puts the shot up, comes up short. Wojciech will come down with a rebound for St. Thomas Moore. Out on the wing, and they're gonna call traveling. Yeah. So that's only the fourth turnover of the game on St. Thomas Moore. Record has seven. Actually, eh, it's hard to adjust right now. Raymo will bring it up down the left side, up on top. Now working over to the right side. They give him plenty of room. Out to Bighorn, catch and shoot. Rattles in and out, won't stay, and Kirsch. Will come down with his sixth rebound. Kirsch will bring it up himself. Back it comes to Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck working it right, back left. 
on the wing to Wojciech back on top. Holland back, they reset the offense, directs traffic, works it to the left, shot clock at 10. They go to Wojciech up on top, right side from the corner, a three, and is that Caden Casey again? Yep. Casey with his fifth three of the ball game. He's got 22 now, make it 51-36. 15 point lead. Oh, that could have been a travel. Outside a three. Give Rayma the assist. Donovan hits the three, he's got 12 now. And make it 51 to 39. Still a 12 point game. A Casey. minute and a half gone. They're gonna take call a charge. Yeah, Donovan drew the charge on Casey. Caden Casey will pick up the charge. That's his second foul of the game. And it will be Red Cloud Ball. They're down by 12. They get a score here, they could actually get to single digits. Yeah. I think those little things like that just help give the team some momentum. Right. But we'll see. Donald hit a three and then come back and get another nice basket, you know. Rayma. Rayma passes on to get into Carlo. Wojcik ends up with the ball. He gets a steal as not a good pass. They double team Wojcik across. Catch. They get the ball to Kirsch. Working against Carlo. Oh. They're going to call. Is that foul going to be on Carlo? I he's, think so. He's going to say, come on, man. That's all ball. That's going to be a third foul on Carlo. And shooting two. At the line is White, uh, is uh, Ryder Kirsch to shoot two. He buries the first one. He's got a nice touch. He is 6'6", six, six, and he handles the ball well. Smooth. Jay Sean Morissette checking in the game for Carlo. 6.09 on the clock, 52.39 right now. Kirsch misses a second one. And was that Ramo came down with it? Yep. Ramo drives. And that's the second turnover in a row as Gilton gets a steal. Uh -oh. Kirsch with the two handed dunk. I mean, it was a dunk, but you just kind of expect that from him. 54-39. Kirsch with the block. We've seen Adriano Rama with a couple of really nice steals in the second quarter, but in here in the third quarter, trying too hard, he's had two bad passes that end up being turnovers. The ball kicks it back. Rayma with the ball. Drive. Kicks it to Morissette. Wojciech body checks him over to Rayma. Rayma working the baseline. Brings it back. Picks his dribble up. Gets it back out to Donovan. Donovan working out behind the arc. Puts it over Gilton for three. Won't go. Underneath ball gets tipped. Oh, coming it. away with it. Is that Bighorn? Yeah. Catches that and he tipped it away. Kirsch is going to follow him. For uh, Ryder Kirsch, that'll be just a second foul of the game. Second team foul in St. Thomas North, 54-39, a 15-point game right now. Out to Donovan, Donovan out on the wing. Works it, drives into the paint. A behind the back pass that catches the enemy. It was uh, two things. One, it was behind the back and you just didn't know it was coming. And number two, it was kind of low and uh, ends up being a turnover. Yeah. Up the floor to Gilton. Gilton will bring it up. Way past down low baseline. Underneath hits him. Underneath catches him. He'll grab the rebound for Red Cloud. Donovan working it. Works the baseline. Trying to get there. Good D by Hollenbeck. Pull up by Bighorn. Hits. Uh, doesn't get it. Curse no. will come down with the rebound. All the way down across the baseline. More check from Hollenbeck. So Hollenbeck with his third assist. Wojciech, that'll be his first basket tonight. 56-39 now. Working it outside, Bighorn. Goes to Donovan, over to Rayma, catch and shoot for three, won't go, hits the back of the iron. Won't go, Caden Casey with the rebound. Rayma with the steal. Ooh, Rayma? Yep. Rayma drives, kicks it out to Bighorn in the corner for three, won't go. Underneath, is that, no. Casey. Caden Casey with the rebound.
That's from the corner, a three won't go. Donovan. Grabbing it is Bo Donovan, his first rebound tonight. 56-39, uh, that's 17 point lead. Pull up three by Bighorn, won't go. Kirsch will come away with it. And Ramo with another steal. Up and count the basket, Bighorn. Ramo with his fourth steal, he gets the assist. Bighorn the two, timeout on the floor. It's 3.38 to go in the third quarter, 56-41. Um, Red Cloud working hard just to stay even. They were down by 12. It's now, right now, 15. Yeah. But it's taking work to stay here. Yeah. Well, and I think the thing is that, you know, Red Cloud, and part of it is their good play, but you get the sense that St. Thomas Moore is going to not continue to make some of these mistakes, you know. Um, Red Cloud, they've, they've had quite a few bites at the apple here in the second half, but they, you know, they're struggling to convert on some of their shots. So, I mean, if you're Red Cloud, you want to try to capitalize on this momentum and this lull that St. Thomas Moore is in and kind of strike. Um, but, you know, one thing about them, you can get a steal from them and get the turnover. But they're back on defense right. immediately. They're right. back there, and and they're making it really hard for you to take advantage yep. of it. You know, make something out of that turnover. To exactly. Steal. Inbounds in the corner to Hollenbeck, out to Kirsch who runs into Rama. They're gonna call Rama. Uh, oh yeah. No, that's Cody, isn't it? No. Was it Cody or Rama? That's gonna be foul called on Rama. That's gonna be his third foul. Again, that they've they've gone around tonight. Uh, Kirsch at six six and Rayma at five eight or five nine. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice steal, but they threw it away. That was catches enemy with a steal. No, Arviso. Arviso. Yeah. Any Arviso in there? Okay. And they just threw it away off the rebound. That shot's not going to go. A foul on. at night. His second foul. And there was a steal by um, Casey in there for St. Thomas More. Jaden Casey at the line. Oh, Hollenbeck. Is that Hollenbeck? Line, yeah, yeah, that's Hollenbeck. Connor Hollenbeck at the line. Hits the first one. And the second. He's got eight points tonight. 58-41. Rayma on the wing to Knight. Knight drives. Back to Manny Arviso. Drives. Turns. Scott won't go. Holland back with the rebound for St. Thomas Moore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Arviso drew the foul on um, Ryder Kirsch, and they're going to give him a technical. Who's going to get the technical? I think Hollenbeck on the coach. Really? Or no, they gave him a warning. So Arviso took a charge? Yeah. Kirsch will pick up his third. Yeah. Hollenbeck jumped up off the floor to voice his displeasure. In so rest. instead of giving him a technical, they gave him a warning. No bench warning. Yeah. Kind of right. like getting arrested but not getting handcuffed, huh? Driving, bounce pass across the lane. Arviso took too long. He could have gotten it. He, he hesitated. The rebound came down to, I think it was Gilton, right? Yeah. In, out, that basket won't count. There will be a couple fouls. Yeah. I mean, a foul and a couple shots. Knight. The Jet Knight will pick up his third foul on the night. 58 to 41. At the line is Kirsch to shoot two and he hits the first one. Kirsch with 19 in the game. And Caden Casey has 22. 59-41. They've, they've had the hot hand. Yeah. Casey Curtin, or Kurt, Caden Casey, four threes. He has five for the game. He had four in the first quarter. 
Kirsch will hit both free throws. He's got 20 now. 60 to 41. Bighorn out to Carlo on top. Working it left side. On the wing down to Donovan. Back outside. Bighorn drives. There'll be a foul, a hand check foul. Will be the fourth team foul in St. Thomas Moore. No shots. First foul on Huber. Inbounds. They hand the ball back. Working it is Carlo. Carlo working the baseline. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Carlo. I. His fourth, huh? Yeah, I, I just don't agree with that. I, you know? Yeah. Raymond back in. Carlo will sit down. Big Horn and Kirsch having a conversation. Inbounds. Rayma goes for another steal. Gilton ends up out of bounds and throws it away. That steal, that turnover forced by Rayma. And then he turns, he has, he's come to play tonight. Well, he hasn't uh, backed down, you know. He's just kind of playing his game and playing it hard. And the Rayma up on top, sets it up, works it left side, goes to Donovan. Don trying to get around Huber, turns, goes to fire across. Wide open look by Bighorn for three. Donovan will get the assist. Bighorn with eight now. Make it 60 to 44. Codier with the foul. Josiah Codier. Is that his first? Yep. Yeah. Yep. 16 foul, no bonus yet, but working on it. So Casey will take it out into Hollenbeck. Or Gilton, either one, into Hollenbeck. Cody here covering. You know, you can't hold your arm out like that. Hollenbeck drives. You know, see how he holds yeah. the defender off with his arm at yeah. times? You, know? you can't do that. Yeah, there's that. a difference between protecting the ball and holding the defender. You yeah. Know? But he drove and drew the foul. On uh, Codier. Codier will pick up his second. Hollenbeck will go to the line to shoot two. 139 to go. Make it 61 to 44. A 17 point lead for St. Thomas Moore over Red Cloud. Second shot won't go. Pulling the rebound down was Jaron Bighorn for Red Cloud. Up on top, they work the ball left. Raymond drives, tries to reverse layup, won't go. Gilton will come down with it. Down the right side, that double team. Oh, Raymond, good job. Forced the turnover there. Did he tip it away again? Yeah, but off. Off, it went off his foot, though. It made him dribble it off his foot. 61-44. 120 to go here in the third quarter. Donovan will bring it up. Working it. Goes left side. Bighorn. Back it goes to Rayma. Codier drives. Back to Rayma. To Donovan. Donovan bounce pass. In they catch it in. Working on Kirsch. Back to Donovan. Pull up. In, out, won't go. The rebound will come down to Hollenbeck. Up the floor quickly to Kirsch. Kirsch kicks it off in the corner. Wide open. And if that's Caden Casey, yeah, that'll be his 6-3. I mean, wow. that's his spot. He was there, they found him, and he knocked down the 6-3 of the game. He has a pretty shot, Tom. It's all net. <laughs> it's the bottom of the net. Yeah. Bighorn drives, has the ball oh, stripped. Yeah. Gilton with a steal. 64-44, 20 seconds left. 20 point game. On the wing, they go to Hollenbeck and a foul on Rayma, a blocking foul, stupid foul. Yeah. Because Rayma already has three. That's gonna be his fourth. And that, as he's a freshman, you gotta learn we need you more on the floor than yeah. making a You know, you're far away from the ball. There's sixteen seconds left. You know, that's a case where you just kinda pressure and apply apply pressure to him. Hollenbeck at the line hits the first one. Yeah. 
and the second. 18 fouls on Red Cloud, 14 seconds to go here in the third, 66-44. Working the ball to the right, driving in, takes a step, puts a floater up, can't get it to go. That's the buzzer. We have completed three quarters, and at the end of three, St. Thomas Moore has up the lead. They outscored Red Cloud. They held Red Cloud to eight points in the third quarter. Outscored them 18 to eight, and added 10 points to their lead. They're up by 12 at the end of the half. They're now up by 22, 66, 44. But, but they, they did, held they, they held Red Cloud to just eight third quarter points. Yeah. I was going to say they're off their pace a little bit, but they made up for it by holding Red Cloud to a lot less points. The thing that I think they do so well is, is they just recover. Even when you make a steal, or you you know get a rebound or whatever it is they're back on D immediately yep. they're, they're that's what they're thinking yeah what can we do to play defense now and get I mean, the ball back well they don't yeah they don't hang their head they no, you know they don't kind of worry about it they just go right back into what's the next part of this game you know Sixty-six forty-four, starting the fourth quarter. St. Thomas Moore is getting the ball to start with. Thomas inbounds. They get the ball to Hollenbeck. Grant Huber starting the fourth quarter for St. Thomas Moore. Works it to the right. Kick it. Uh oh, back the other side. Outside shot for three comes up short. Catches enemy. Will pull the rebound down for the Crusaders. Donovan working the ball down quickly. Kicks it across to Bighorn. He's going to drive. And they're going to call this time a blocking foul. It could have, it's one of those that could have gone either way. And that that is uh, Charlie Larson with the foul. And they'll put Bighorn at the line to shoot too. Jaron will hit the first one. He's got nine points in the game. He's got nine. Raymond's got nine. Bo Donovan has 12. Carlo has 11. Carlo with four fouls. Carlo and Raymond with four fouls each as Bighorn hits both free throws. Cade Casey working it down the left side. They double team him. Get the ball over to Huber. Back to Huber. In the corner, they go to Kirsch. Bring it out to Casey. Caden Casey at the elbow. Ball gets tipped, but he's going to get it back. They work in the corner. Shot clock at 10. Ball's tipped inside. Double pump and Larson. Charlie Larson for two. 68-46. Bighorn on top gets a wide open look for three. Can't go with the rebound. Catches enemy. Got in there and got a really nice offensive rebound. Went to put it back. Draws a foul. They're going to call, is it on Larson? Yeah. He's already got two. <laughs> That's his third then. Third foul on Larson. Catches on enemy to shoot two. Rattles the first one in. Kirsch back on the floor along with Wojciech. Also coming out on the floor is Cade Candelin, a 5'10 sophomore. Second shot. I forgot who was shooting. Uh, catches enemy. They work it on the wing. Gilton gets it down in the corner to Wojciech. Wojciech drives. Went in. It rattled and finally dropped. Just his second basket of the night. 70 to 48. They go on top to Carlo. 620. Carlo drives. 
They're going to call that foul on the floor. Seventh team foul. It will be a bonus, and Carlo will go to the line to shoot one and one. He's got 11. He and Donovan are the two in double figures. He's got 11. Donovan has 12. Whereas Kirsch has 20, and Caden Casey has 25. Carlo stands in, hits the first free throw. Second shot, can't get it to rattle in. Kirsch will come down with another rebound. He's got eight to go with his 20 points. Way in the corner, they get it back to Huber. Up on top to Gilton to set the offense for St. Thomas More. Gilton in the corner to Wojciech. He'll bring it back out, right side, back in the corner. And the Kirsch Stern. Wow. Who, who is that? Kirsch. That, that was Kirsch. Ryder Kirsch. Yep. Posts up, backs it in, and turns and knocks it down. Bighorn in the corner, putting up the three was Rayma. Couldn't get it to go. And Kirsch with his ninth rebound. Working on a double double. Pass just about thrown away. Step back, fires a three from the corner, won't go. Is that on Carla? No. It's going to be a Wojcik. 72 to 49, Thomas. Third foul on Wojcik. Be a bonus. Eighth team foul on St. Thomas Moore. So Carla will come back and shoot a one, you know, shoot one and one. Did he, how did he do the last time? Did he make them both or just one? He made one and one. Okay. Hits, made, made one, missed one, sorry. Yeah. Hit the first one, we'll get the bonus. Both teams with 18 fouls. Holland back, back out on the floor for St. Thomas Moore. Caden Casey, Kirsch, Wojciech, Holland back, and uh, Grant Huber. Carlo hits both free throws, rattled that one home. He's got 14 now, 72-51. 21-point game. Baseline, reverse layup comes up short, catches enemy, will out-rebound Donovan. Hands the ball to Donovan. Outside, a three won't go. Hollenbeck will, no, Casey, that's Caden yeah. Casey will grab the rebound. Ball gets tipped. St. Thomas Moore stolen. Bighorn with the steal. And he fakes the pass and takes it all the way to the rack for two. Bighorn with 12 now. Kirsch across to Hollenbeck. They trap him in the corner. And it's gonna, I knew Hollenbeck was going to call a timeout. Yeah. Dave Hollenbeck. And he's mad at us. You got somebody trapped up there. Somebody's got to come to the right. ball. Yeah, you got somebody you, doubled. Somebody's you, open. You can't leave him stranded like that. Somebody's got to come to the ball. You got to help out. Yeah. And Hollenbeck saved the turnover by calling a timeout. 72-33, a 19-point lead. Well, that's, you know, there's a case where, you know, Red Cloud's trying to peek their head back out. 440 left, lots of time, and... You know, they just get a nice couple of steals, get a, some free throws, get to the basket, score off of a layup. And, um, you know, the coach for St. Thomas More, rather than lose the, you know, risk a turnover, calls a timeout to reset. And, you know, I bring that up because we've done a few games this season where, you know, the momentum is shifting under some teams and they don't use their timeouts, you know, to stop that momentum. Hollenbeck works it right side. They go down inside. Please. Count the basket and one. That guy. That's I mean, Ryder Kirsch. That'll stop a momentum. He right makes there. it look so easy. It drives yeah. me nuts. Make it 74 53. Catches enemy will pick up his second foul as Kirsch picks up his 24th point. He's very... Uh, did he make the free throw? I'm he did. He did. 
25 in the game. He and Caden Casey both have 25. Wow. 75 to 53. Raymond on the wing, on the right. Back out to Donovan, ball fake to Carlos. Carlos drives into the paint, drives. They're gonna call up. <laughs> Wojcik, that's his fourth foul, but he, on the deck, he was watching. He thought he took a good charge, man. Is that his fifth? I only have him for four, that's his fifth. Yeah. Wojcik will foul out with five fouls. He fouls out with 417 to go. And it's one of those fouls, it could go either way. I mean, it, yeah. it happened right in front of us, you know. Yeah, I think both players had four fouls. <laughs> Doesn't Carlo have four? Yep, oh yeah. So in that case, somebody was leaving. Turned out to be the visitor. Yeah. 75-53, Carlo stands in and rattles the first one in. Carlo with a team high. He hit them both. He's got 16 now for a team high. 20 point game. 75 55. Ball is turned over. Carlo right there. Is that Charlie Larson? Yeah. Had some trouble with it. It'll be Red Cloud ball out of bounds into Donovan. Counting down towards the four minute mark of the last quarter. I think. Uh Casey just told him, call the timeout. <laughs> Is that on Larson? Yeah. <laughs> That's his fourth. Wow. Fourth foul on Larson. Put Donovan at the line to shoot two. Automatic two shots, double bonus now. Red Cloud's already shot one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will be their 11th and 12th free throw here in the fourth quarter. Donovan will hit the first one. Well, that's kind of the way you want to score, you know. Clock's not running, getting their players in trouble, and you scoring. Yeah, I hear you. Donovan will hit them both. And they get 75. 57, 18 point lead. Kirsch at the free throw line, gets it back to Hollenbeck. They can take their time now and work the, the shot clock. Uh, gets the ball to Larson in the corner. And call Jay Sean Morissette. Yeah. That'll be the 10th team foul on Red Cloud. It'll be an automatic two shots for Morissette, his third foul. Shot clock was getting down there too. I, I'm I'm sure that Hollenbeck, the coach, just wants him to do that to yeah. use up the shot clock. You know, you got a big lead. You know, just take your time, move the ball around. Kirsch at the line. His 26th point in the night. He's got nine rebounds. It's one short of a double double. Hits both rebound uh, free throws. Uh-oh. He's got 27 now. So it's a 20-point game. 77-57. Rayma on the wing on the right. Up on top to Bighorn. Bighorn back to Donovan. Had a three but didn't take it. Back it goes to Carlo. He takes the three. And yeah, Mayle, he has a hot hand right now. Ryan Carlo with three. He's got 19 now. This is his second game in a row with 19. He had 19 Friday against St. Francis. 77 to 60. Rec club down by 17. 3.03 to go, fourth quarter. Holland back on the wing, kicks it back outside to Gilton. Gilton works it left side. In the corner, driving the baseline. It's blocked, but they're gonna be a foul. More set. Yep. Jay Sean Morissette will pick up his fourth foul. Fourth foul, and at the line is Caden Casey to shoot two. 
Casey with 25 points in the game. He opened the game with four threes and a deuce. 14 first quarter points. He hits the first one. And the second one. Don will bring it up. Drives, gives it back to Rayma. Behind the arc, puts up a three. Can't go, hits the shot clock up on top. Makes it a dead ball and be St. Thomas more ball. 79-60, 2.43, Tom. Into Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck will bring it down the right side. Hands the ball to Kirk, right back to Hollenbeck. In the corner to Casey, baseline, back outside to Kirk. Good ball movement. And this is what they want to do, yeah. shot clock at 16. They hand off underneath a very high percentage shot. Yep. They get the ball to Kirsch. Hollenbeck, yeah, just drove it, handed it right to him. Kirsch with 29, 81-60 now. Carl in the lane. Pull up, misses everything, 81-60. Hollenbeck rebound. A minute 57 to go, fourth quarter. And that's going to be the fifth foul on Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck trying to block the baseline, gets the foul. He will foul out with 154 to go. For Morset, you mean? Um, Morset, Jay Morset, oh, okay. yeah, my bad. With 154, Morset fouls out. Catches enemy, Carlo, Long Soldier, and Manny Arbiso check in the game for Red Cloud. Codier as well. 81 to 60. For St. Thomas More coming in is Jack Green. Also coming in is Ethan Burnett, a 5'10 sophomore. Burnett, that's the guy. Bob Burnett or something like that. Yeah. The used car man. Kirsch at the line to shoot two more. He's got 30 now. 30 to go. He's only got nine rebounds though. Not short of a double-double. Misses the second one. Coming down with it, Arbiso will grab the rebound for Red Cloud. Dish it in the corner. Long soldier wide open look for three. Can't get it to go. Tip down. Catches that and will come away with it. Oh, he couldn't get it. Oh, Arbiso. Arbiso. Got his own rebound somehow. But Kirsch is going to come away with it and get fouled on the other side. Arviso, I think, is going to get the foul his first. And at the line to shoot two more will be Kirsch with 30, 30 points in the game. I've, I mean, I want to say a quiet 30, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't be quiet if you have 30 points, right? No, no. He missed the first, come back and hit the second. 31 on for the game. So we have Gilton, Charlie Larson, Burnett, uh, Jack Green, and also on the floor is uh, Cade Candley. Arviso on the baseline, turns, fires it off the glass. Manny Arviso for Zoo. Make it 83-62. Oh. St. Thomas Moore turns it over. We <laughs> red club ball at half court. St. Thomas Moore coaches down and dribble. <laughs> Cody Earl working up. Went right, then goes back left. Gets the ball to Jet Knight, long soldier. Arviso backing his way into lane, then back drive off the glass. Offensive. He gonna be on catches enemy? Yeah. Third foul on catches enemy. That basket went in too. Yeah, I know. I tried not to uh, talk about it. <laughs> Since it, it didn't count. Oh. 
Gilded still happen. outside the Larson. Dud count didn't happen. 83-62, a 21-point lead. They're going to call traveling. That force by Joaquin catches enemy. We've got 39 seconds left. Shot clock at 35. Jet Knight and the Cody are Cody are bringing it up. Met by Arbiso. Catches that and he drives. Another time he got the basket and they wave it off. Another charge on catches enemy for Joaquin. That's his fourth foul. Twenty-five seconds. And now this there shouldn't be any shot here. They should just run out the clock. Back outside. Larson. They kick it all the way across to Burnett. 11 seconds ago. Back out to Burnett. And they're just going to run the clock out. And that'll be the ball game. The final score, it'll be St. Thomas Moore picking up their 14th straight win this year. 83-62. to 83-62.